The next wall is uh, wall type three. It's another bond similar to uh, the bond that's between the first and second floor. Now we have a bond that's at the first floor. So this bond wall type six is at the second floor and wall type three is the bond at the first floor. So we'll take wall type four as our starting point and we'll modify that to resemble uh, what we want wall type three to be. So basically we're going to take wall type four, edit the type, duplicate it. We're gonna call that wall type three and say, okay. Now wall type three has the face brick, the airspace, the rigid insulation and the three quarter inch plywood sheathing. The rim joists and the fiberglass insulation get added later. It's not part of our wall, it's part of our structure. And it's part of our uh, detail, which would be the insulation. So, okay, so we've, now we're calling it wall three. Okay, so we'll just uh, come to the structure. We want brick on the outside, yes. We want the airspace, yes. We want the rigid insulation, yes. We want the plywood sheathing, yes. And that's it. Do we want the softwood lumber? Uh, no. So let's take this structure and move it down one so that when we delete the softwood lumber, there's still something remaining between the core boundaries. And we don't have any gypsum wall board, so we'll delete that. Let's take a look at what we have now. This is our bond. Um, brick, airspace, rigid insulation, and plywood sheathing. That's exactly what this is, wall number three. So we can say okay and okay.